So here I am back in the UDK editor and I have my DM deck custom level open here and we can just look around the level and see that everything is as it should be. Now the first thing I want to do to set this up and running with my game collection class is to choose view and select world properties from the menu and here is the world properties dialog and for the game type for PIE that's play in editor I want to select this to my collection game info class and then I can just close this dialog here. Then I can press Control Shift F on the keyboard to display the content browser. I want to switch to the actor classes tab and you can see here my game statue power up. We have our statue power up and I'm going to drag and drop some versions of these power ups into the level here. You can see them being added. I'm going to add three but remember that we need to add at least ten if we are going to make this game winnable. So right now with just three statues you can't actually win this game but just for test purposes I'm only going to add three for the moment. So I'm going to close the actor classes dialog here and so here we have our three statues. I'm going to select the first one, press F4 on the keyboard and in the properties menu I'm going to select the rotation speed to 90 degrees per second. I'll select the second statue, set this to 90 degrees per second Select the third one, set this to 90 degrees per second, so I've set the rotation for all three of these statues. Then I'm going to test the level by pressing the play button on the toolbar, like so. Let's wait for my level to compile, and here we have the level open in front of us, and notice that all three of our statues are rotating at 90 degrees per second. So what I'm going to do is just run through the first statue, and boom, notice in the console there, statues collected one. I run through the second, boom, statues collected two, notice it's keeping track correctly of the statue collection counter, and I move through the third one, and boom, statue collected three. Now if I turn around, you will see that all three statues have stopped spinning, and notice that if I run back through them, I don't get statues collected. I cannot collect the same statue more than once, and that is because when the statues enter the deactivated state, I can no longer activate the touch event. The touch event is removed from the class as soon as it enters the deactivated state. So that is exactly what we want. We have our three statues and we can only collect each statue once and no more than that. And once we collect the statue it keeps track of our statue collected counter. So, so far we've made really good progress. But let's develop our game even further.